Pose. Welcome to our training. My name is Jackie Martinez. I'm a senior instructor for the Arizona JKA. And this is another in our series of video trainings offered to our students during this time of COVID-19. I hope that you are doing well and that you're going to happy that you're joining us for this karate training. Today we're going to focus on kata. Uh, I've moved the focus point back a little bit from how I normally do it to give you more room, hopefully, so you can see it'll help you follow along as we do the training. Uh, and if you have limited space, you can do a couple of things. One, you can shorten your stance, and two, you can adjust the front foot as you move. So I'll explain that as we get into the cut uh, into the training. For now, I'm glad that you're here, thankful that we can be here together. Uh, and let's begin training with the Moksha ceremony. So I invite you to take a formal standing or seated seiza position for meditation. So relax, let the eyelids drop. Feel the breath as it moves in and out of your lungs. No thinking, just feeling. So yummy! Extend into the full kata. So 
you can do two things. One, pay out the arm, first movement is to the left. Well, let's say I can't extend the, my full stance, so I can pull my front foot back and then set. Then I can turn to the other side, Tetsu Yuchi, and let's say again I'm limited. There's an obstacle in my way here. I can pull my front foot back and step. You can do that all the way through so that no matter what the position is that you're stepping into, if you can't reach with the full step forward, pull the front foot back and then step. Between that and shortening your stance, you should be able to get through all the kata in your and the limited space that you have. Okay, uh, the other option is to stop and move and then continue from there. So you can basically uh, adjust your position in the middle of the kata to give you room for the next movement. Okay, all right, let's try it. Hey, hey, I'm sure. Yo, 21 movements, ki on 9 and 17, my count. Slowly. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. No. Shitch. Hutch. Two. Three. Two. Itch. Knee. Sun. She.
So you may have noticed he and Chulon emphasizes front stance, Zun Kun Tadachi. He and Nigan emphasizes back stance, or Koku Tadachi. And He on Sandan emphasizes Kibadachi, or side stance. It's one of the three basic differences among the three Heian, the first three Heian katas. There are many others, of course, but that's one way to think of it, is that it's easier to work on Heian Chodan. Heian Nidan introduces the more demanding uh, stance, and Heian Sandan introduces Kibadachi with more challenging movements within the stance, especially the spin to the front and the fumi, homies in the middle. All right, so let's go on to Heian Sanda. Kyotsuke. Hey! Heian Sanda. Yo! All right, my count. One.
pressing block, <clears throat> then go into the turn and continue with the kata. Okay? All right. Let's try it again by the count. Hey, hey, Alexander. Joy. My count. One. Here, for Hayami But from here, rather than turning this way 
and doing shiitoke as we would do in Heianino. From here, after the kick and strike, the hand stays out here, palm opens up, this leg reaches out, and this hand comes and slams into the palm of the left hand, the elbow to the palm. It's like you're grabbing someone by the back of the head or pulling them by their gi and hitting them. The elbow stays into the chest, not out here and not here, into the chest. Okay? Then it's the same thing on the other side. Here we need a half step, hands to the side, kick and strike, reach. Elbow, not around, in, and then this fist stays in the body, into the body, not out here. Okay? <clears throat> That's probably one of the trickiest things to learn. <clears throat> After this action here, the next action is like a double action, circular. The hands come apart, the left hand comes down, the right hand comes up. And then the right hand swings around, striking Shitoi Uchi. Knife hand strike to the side of the head. This hand is in a regular rising block position with the palm open. Then from here, the hands stay here. Mind getting jawed on to the face. All the kicks in this cup are to the face. Face level. Then as you leap forward, at least one full stance length. You change the arms and bam! And then again, close to touch, hips to the front, back fist strike, right to the upper lip of your opponent. That's the first key out. Okay? A little tricky if you're just learning it, but enough repetition and you'll get it. It'll be just like learning any other kata. Once you got it, you got it. Alright? Good? Alright, hey, I know my. My count. Yo.
and then this time the right leg goes out. Same thing, pressing the arms apart. Again, kicking to the face. Then when you come down, you, kick, you punch first the same side of the body, you kick with, punch, and punch. The three movements then to the back, all in back stance, are morote muke, the same movement as 22 in Hianidan, but now in back stance. The hands come back, augmented block. Blocking the little pinky side, just like Uchiuke, but you're supporting it with the other hand. Again, same idea, block. And one more time, same idea, block. Now from here, the next movement, which is uh, 24, is the kia. I mean 25, that's the kia. So from here, you reach forward with your hands like you're grabbing someone behind the ears who's at exactly your height. Their head isn't this big, their head is about the same size as your head. And then you bring your knee up, and the hands come right along the sides of your thigh. Not down here, not out there. Then turn behind, block. And then the final block step forward. All right? So this is a tricky kata. If you're learning it for the first time, it's going to take some repetition, but it's, you will get it. Just take your time, work through part of it, then part of it, then part of it. Eventually, it'll all come together. All right, kill this, okay? Hey! All right. Hey, I'm Yon Yon. Yo! My count. One. Two.
put the whole content together. So uh, it's an advantage we have with recording that we don't have in face-to-face -face classes. So there you go. All right, now we're going to try all motions one count. Take your time. Hey, I'm done, done. Yo. Kosadachi, and then you want to get lower 
as you can. This is about as low as I can get. So you want to try to get as low as you can, maintaining good tension in your legs. Okay? Um, after this action, The movement is the front stance to a back wall. The feet are in a straight line, even though I'm in Zinkutsurachi. And for these last several movements, Zinkutsurachi, Kokutsurachi, Pesokurachi. Spin, Zinkutsurachi, Kokutsurachi, and then now right. What you don't want to do is from here, That's incorrect foot movement, okay? Feet must be in a straight line for all these movements. So once you land here, drive, front stance, pull back, cobra to the front foot comes back slightly on that, pull it up, turn, arms change, drive, and pull back. Heels in a straight line all the way through until we come back. Okay, those are some of the most important points um, on how you actually execute the techniques. A total of 23 movements. Uh, the key eye is on um, 13 and 19. And so that's the, the jump is the second key eye, and actually the key eye in the air uh, when we do the jump. Okay, all right, let's try it. Okay? Alright, hang on, Moto. Roll. My count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, or oh, that should be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right in the air, 20, feet in a straight line, 21, 22, 23, And now ready. And ready. Uh, one other point that's very important because uh, it's a point I have to personally work on is that when we go to these, this last sequence to the, to the front, this hand is striking the inner thigh or conceivably of the groin. Okay? So from here, the hand comes, the elbow comes in, but the hand goes around. <clears throat> here, at the same time, this hand is doing a nagashi uke. It's like blocking someone's attack and then striking them on the inside of their thigh. Okay, then this action can be a grabbing the thigh or the clothing and upending them. Or it can be an, another uh, attack to a, uh, a pressure point or a block. Okay? And then we do the same thing on the other side. The attacking arm goes around, not straight in. All right, let's try it again. Okay? Okay, I'm going on. So, I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight,
So those are all five Hayam Katas. Let's go through each one. All motions, one count, one after the other. Uh, that's a nice way to end training, all right? Kill okay. Hey! Hey, I'm Jonah. Hey, I need them. Yo. Kids, okay? Hey! Hey, I'm Sonna!
気をつけ Let's do some more downs. Interlace your fingers. Stretch out to the front, round the back, loosen it up. Reach all the way to the ceiling, big stretch, and all the way to the floor. Again, out to the front, up to the top, and down. Right hand on the outside of the left foot. Other side. Left foot on the outside of the right knee. Round through your right elbow around. And the corner of your left shoulder. Same thing on the other side. Right foot is on the inside of your left thigh or on top and reach for your left foot. Switch sides, same right here. Foot is in, reach for your right foot. Get a leg straight out the front, bounce them out. Side to side. All right, legs apart as far as you can. Knees are tight, back is straight. <clears throat> Put your toes, ankles back toward you, and reach straight out in front. To your left. I'm sorry, to your right. And to 
Training finished, and I invite you to sit and say sign or uh, take whatever meditative position you'd like. So So yummy! The Joku. Seek perfection of character. Be faithful. Endeavor to excel. Respect others. Refrain from violent behavior. Tuts, Jean Kaku Katsanisu Makoto. Tuts, Makoto no Michio Makoto. Arizona JKA Karate Videos. False.